My next guest has been interviewed by Oprah, Dr. Phil, Good Morning America, and more. She has written over 23 books and is a sought-after speaker because she addresses a topic that impacts every single one of us. And that topic is money. Please welcome Mary Hunt. Hi. Hi, Joy. Thank you for being here. Thank I just want to tell you off the bat that this is going to be more exciting than Oprah, okay? Are you ready? <laughs> Absolutely. It already is. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no, but truly, I read your whole book, Live Your Life, for half the price. Is it fun? It is so fun. You are such a funny writer. Oh, I you, am? Yes. You're very conversational, and you're, because you're, your opening, you're opening story, I literally laughed because you were like, my favorite interview I've ever had, uh, the interviewer had laryngitis. <laughs> and I was like, great. <laughs> so I'm just going to let you take it from here. It's you... <laughs> fun. You know, people should get it just for that part. Huh? Yeah. That's... Well, no. And so then you, you open it up by interviewing yourself mm -hmm. and you're talking about what the book is uh -huh. and what it isn't. And it's it's really, really helpful. And I even I feel like I've been fairly decent with money, but it was it was really beneficial to know these extra tips about like, I'm, I have it on my calendar to call my insurance company next week to oh, try good. to get lower rates. Absolutely, that's a, <laughs> it's such a great tip. Yeah, so, well, I want, I know Moira interviewed you and talked a little bit about your history about being in debt, but there was a part of your story that I really loved, which you talked about first getting married and you lived in a 300 square foot apartment. 300 feet. And you said you were happier than you'd oh, ever been. It, we were cozy. Yeah. Uh, we didn't know what we didn't have. Yeah. You know, we were so happy. Yeah. We were really, well, not that we're not happy now, but but it is such, yeah, a great memory for me. Yeah. And you're forced, you can't have a lot of stuff with yeah. 300. And then what happened? Well, I got introduced to credit cards. Yeah. You know? And you went up to $100,000. Oh, my $100, goodness. You know, how long do we have? Yeah, I know, seriously. <laughs> I'm right. going to ignore the clock. So we're One just keep card on. became four, became 12, became yeah. 16, and something went off in my head and yeah. said that I could have everything I wanted now yeah. and I could pay for it later. Yeah. And that is exactly what the consumer credit industry wanted me and everyone in sound of my voice. Yeah. I'm very passionate about this. I'm yeah. telling you something. Yeah. This has ruined many, many people. Yeah. It ruined me for a period of time. And i got to tell you, Joy, a lot of people don't recover from it. Totally, but you did, and you you racked up $100,000 in debt, and then it took you 13 years. You didn't file for bankruptcy, though. You we didn't. worked hard. We didn't. We were too embarrassed, and honestly, I didn't even know about it. I mean, yeah. that's how ignorant I was. Yeah, yeah. But it was embarrassing, too shameful. So you got out of debt, but this book isn't just for people who are in debt. There, are, You talk about that, but it's also for people who are good with their money, but you teach them how they can go from being right. spenders to savers. Here's the principle. Yeah. It's the money we don't spend. Yeah that gives us the freedom to live the life we love. Yes. Okay, isn't that what everyone wants? To yeah. live a life that they love. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to be poverty stricken. Yeah. I, I don't want to be so frugal that I never have a new outfit. Totally. No, I want yeah. a life that I love. And the principle is, is that you have to learn how to manage the money well that yeah. you have yeah. and never, ever spend all that you have. Simple principles, but yeah. not easy for everyone to do. You talk about saving 10%, giving 10% away, and living off of 80%. And you have a quote that says, the secret to living the life you love is the ability to identify the point of maximum fulfillment, the point of enough. And you even talk about higher income does not equal better life. Talk it about doesn't. that. You know, more uh, money that will bring us happiness yeah. up to a certain point. Like yeah. people who are desperately in poverty, yes. for them to have more money really does make their life better. Yeah. It's true. You come to a certain point. They've done research, right? Absolutely. A certain income, Absolutely. then it starts this to This is go. maximum fulfillment. Yeah. So more after that, like three pairs of shoes, great. Maximum yeah. fulfillment. Yeah. 43 pairs of shoes doesn't make it any better. It yeah. makes it more cumbersome. Yeah. You know, and then you just can't get enough. And, yeah. you, and you've got this whole thing going on. Oh, I've been there know what it's like. Well, and so, so again, like even for people who feel like they do know some things or feel like, well, I can figure this out. Um, you know, I've been okay with my money. You, you have so many practical tips in this book. And one of the things you're saying, okay, well, some people might say, well, I got a little bit of debt. Maybe if I just get, maybe if I just get a raise at work, I'll be right. able to get out of debt. Yeah. But I love that you, you broke down for someone that might say, hey, I, I would like a raise, and then they get a $5,000 raise, then the, the pitfalls that they could go oh. into. So break that down Well, for the us. first thing is that you think, oh, I'm rich. Yeah. You know, I'll get a new car. Yeah. I mean, that's what I did. I get $5,000, so I've got a, you know. A down payment, yeah, down payment on a car. Yeah. So you get more bills, yes. you know. But the thing is, is if you get a $5,000 raise, you don't get $5,000 cash. No, no, you've got all this withholding. Yeah. Taxes. Then you get it every week, a little bit, or every yeah. month. And it might be $30 or $40 at a time. Yeah. It just disappears. Yeah. Because you've not changed 
changed your mindset. Totally. You haven't, and, and I call it living life for half the price. Yeah. That's what this is all about. And you might get bumped up into a higher tax bracket too. Absolutely. Like you just talked about all these things that like, factor these things in before so that you can think ahead month to month. You know what a better way is? Reduce your expenses. That's so much better yes. than getting a raise. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't sound right, but I know it is absolutely true. Well, and you give so many practical tips. I mean, you don't say get rid of credit cards altogether. You talk about how to have a credit card, what's the ne necessity for it, and, and what absolutely. kind to get. But you also mm. make a really, really fascinating point when you talk about um, credit cards versus cash with eating out. Talk about that. Oh, my goodness. Well, just think I, I, how we think. Yeah. If you know you're going to pay for anything, a, yeah. a meal, a shopping trip with a credit card, yeah. it's human nature we do not pay attention to the price. Yes. We just don't. Yeah. The credit card companies know this yeah. and they want us to use the cards. Yeah. Now, if you go into that restaurant, you've only got $40 cash. Yeah. you got three kids with you. Yeah. And if that, you know, you think all it. of a sudden, my goodness, you're thinking. Yeah. You're adding up in your mind. You're keeping it down. Yeah. You're eating. You're spending a whole different way. Totally. You're That's engaged. Yeah. Well, and that's what, and it's like maybe you think, well, okay, we're not going to get the dessert or we're not going to get the sodas. You know, you're right. just more aware. Exactly. Yeah. Now, statistically, we can prove this. Yeah. People on average spend 30% more With a when they're card. doing it on plastic, even a debit card. Yeah. Because you just all of a sudden it. it's not a big deal. Yeah. You know? Oh, it's so good. You you um, also have 10 simple rules of personal finance, and I know we can't go through all 10, even though I would like to, um, but I want to just ask you, what's your favorite of those principles? Joy, you make me choose. Yeah, I know. I, I have like, to I love choose. Them all. Like, choose <laughs> between my children. Well, I would say the one that is so important, because without it, nothing else can, the other 10 can't happen, yeah. is that you've got to know where your money goes. Yeah. Now, that sounds so simple, Yeah. but so many people have no idea where the money no. goes. They just spend it. It leaks out of their lives, it's gone, they don't yeah. know where it goes. So that's where it starts. Yeah. Know where every single dollar goes. Yeah. Well, I know we just have a little bit of time left, but um, I have so many friends that are buying houses right now. That's kind of the stage that my peers are in. And you, you have an entire chapter on home ownership. But if you could just tell the people right now, just a few things for people who are looking to buy houses and then some of the misconceptions about refinancing your mortgage. Yes. Well, first of all, buying a home, never, ever, I have all these rules. These yeah. never, ever, don't ever let a lender or a broker or a realtor tell you how much house you can afford. Okay. You know, they're going to want to do that and yeah. they're going to want to get you up into the biggest one possible. Yeah. Don't do that. No matter now, how nice they are, right. they might be nice people, but don't they not. they are doing and their job. And don't tell them get a 30-year mortgage or don't, yeah. no, you decide for yourself. I teach you how to do this. Yes. I'd rather see you get a house way lower than yeah. what they say you can afford yeah. and pay it off in five years. Then sell it and parlay it into another. That's, that's what I love. So you talk about like, let's say you figure out, oh, I can afford this type of house, but get a house that's half that size as your first, your starter house, right. and then make payments on it like you got the big that's house. That's exact. Then oh, you can, you're so good. Oh, no, it was, I was, you're was so You're a fantastic <laughs> student. I love it. <laughs> well, it's so easy to read. It's not oh, something, because I think you. a lot of people are like, I don't understand finance, so I just want to stick my head in the sand. You write very conversationally and very, it, it's just, I love it. And you also give really great tips on how to communicate with people when you're bartering. Because you, you say, there, you oh, talk yeah. about how many, how many places you can negotiate on things from furniture to car buying. There's some people who think, that's just not my personality. But you teach people how to do it in well, a really artful way. And it's a simple question. It's yeah. so easy. Yeah. Like say you're the you're the clerk at the at the dress shop and I find a, a dress I really like, it's on sale, half off, it's got a busted button. Oh yeah. You know what? This <laughs> button is broken. Is there anything you could do for me? I love that question. Yeah. Is there something you could do for me? Yeah. Well, the person's not gonna say no, I can't do anything. No, they're yeah. gonna wanna help you. Yeah, they wanna have good It's easy. Service. It's just such a I have saved so much money doing that. Yeah. No, it is so great. There are so many more tips um, in her book. She talks about where to shop. Um, she gives you practical websites to look at before you buy a car. Um, she talks to you about how to negotiate cell phone bills. She, on her website, has um, online budgeting tools, uh, but also gives other, I, I love that you point people to other budgeting sites. It's really kind of you. Yes. Um, you give vacation <laughs> ideas. Um, you tell people where they can buy their groceries, and you've even written recipes. You do it all. Absolutely, and I, you know, I hope to say that every area of life, I can teach you how to do it for half the price. 
Thank you, Mary. I, as I said, I think I've been pretty good with money over the years, but this book still taught me so much, and I think it will uh, teach you as well. So head over to DebtProofLiving.com for tons of helpful tools online, and then head back over to our e-store to pick up a copy of Live Your Life for Half the Price.